So for today's video, I'm going to be VOD reviewing some of my in-game replays. I do also want to tell you that there will be a special VOD review at the end of the video, so please watch until the end to see that. The reason why I, I most pros do VOD reviews is to point out some mistakes they made so they can learn how to improve them. I know I made a few mistakes, so I want to do a VOD review on stream where I can point out those mistakes and... Thanks, and then after the vid is uploaded, I'm going to try my best to fix them. Without further ado, let's hop right on into it. So in this first replay, I was playing Duo Arena with not Zaki in this replay. Now if you don't know who Zaki is, basically he's one of my friends. I did have some beef with him in the past, but that was a long time ago. And now we just solved our problems and got over our beef. Beef. So technically, here's what happened. Me and Zaki decide to land Coral because it's me and Seb's duo spot, so basically me and Seb land here because it's now got zero gravity and it's easier to get some spawn kills and bonus points. So here's what's happening here. I'm getting shot at by a person, but I had a green ta but I had a green tack. So I I shot the person, got my finish, but then this other but then his teammate came up to me, and I killed him as well. Luckily, his teammate had a purple spaz off spawn, so that was an easy, hey, best loot kill right there. Now on to Zaki. We were la hey, we were go. Now on to the next part of the replay. So me and Zaki were in a fight, and unfortunately, things didn't quite go well in Pleasant. We were getting third party by multiple teams, and I was struggling to get some kills. But one of the teammates got one of the teams got a surprise attack on me, and I get knocked very easily. Which, which I made a mistake right there. I will try my best to fix it. Like I said, now Zaki, he he had to clutch up on his own. Um, after I died, right, so technic and technically he was doing perfectly well. Yes, he did wear he decided to wear my main skin, but that's because we wanted to wear matchies because we felt like it. Now, I don't normally like doing matching skins, so don't try it with me. But anyways, so Zaki here, he was looking for the perfect time to third party and get an extra kill. So that's why he was sitting in a box, box pretending to be AFK to let the players come to him. Unfortunately, that wasn't going to work out and he did get sniped from behind. Luckily, he had minis to pop, so that's kind of a great thing to do, I guess. But anyways, yeah, now he uses a chug cannon that he got from a llama earlier in the game. And while I had two kills, Zaki had none, but if he could get a kill, but then he decided to wait until there was a right time to shoot them so that he would, so that he would get one a kill at least and get, some, and get the bonus points. So that's why you all find <clears throat> the fastest way to play and get camps in arena nowadays is to play duos or trios because each kill will grant you 15 bonus points. And the more kills you get, the more bonus points you're going to earn. But anyways, Zaki went into their box got at the right moment and shot them, got getting his first kill of the game. Now unfortunately, he did die. Unfortunately, he did die right after this, but now we're going to go on to the next replay. Alright guys, so technically this next replay is actually another duo one with me and Zaki. It's not the same one though, it's just a completely different replay. So me and Zaki were looting up in Coral once again, because Coral is just good loot, loot spot, right? I mean, you can get loot, you can, you, you can get loot, you have zero gravity while it's still there. It's pretty enjoyable spot to be honest and while I was low HP Zaki was trying to find some heals for me while I was doing the same thing luckily I found a big pot and decided to pop it and Zaki, there were some people on Zaki but Zaki managed to get the kills allowing him to get the double siphon and get at 34 points from the limbs which I personally believe was actually a great idea because in duos and trios you get 15 bonus points per kill. But now we're going to go to the part where we both die because apparently we got third party once again. So we're playing, so we're fighting this guy right here, right? 
So me and Zaki were trying to team on them. The one of them was cracked. And then Zaki was fighting the other guy. I die. And then Zaki dies a little bit after I do. So this is the third replay we're going to be VOD reviewing. And no, it's not another duo thing with hang with Zaki. We're I'm basically playing Tree Hail Arena in this to practice for the FNCS, which unfortunately got ruined for me because Seb Rage quit and my teammate left. But anyways, like we were playing a Tarina trios with Seb, Heb, and his friend who was messing with me on stream and I didn't like it. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So I grab a gun, so I got a shotgun named AR. And Seb says there's a guy right there, so I try to shoot the guy <clears throat> okay, while I can, and Seb get and eventually Seb gets the kill on him. Which I'm kind of surprised too because I did lower the guy. He was low on HP. He shouldn't have got he should have got full HP and full shield. So my bad, but GG's that player. But <clears throat> in this part, part in this part. I get a knock on somebody and walls call someone who's shooting at us. So and then technically me and Sebast me and Sebastian decide to double spray this kid right here after I get my fin in. And I did one pump the guy, earning us the third kill, which is smart and a great idea if you want me to be honest with myself. And now let's go into this part in the end game. Where technically things went a little off. So Seb was knocked by a player. His friend was dead. So we decide so I decided to spray the kids and get the kills. Kills. So which technically went well. One of the kids was getting rezzed, but guess what? What is it? What does this guy do? He's here here's but this guy appears to be a solo. So what we decided to do is double team him, because it wasn't his teammate that I killed. It was him colluding with his friends, probably, so I decided to kill him. I did get the kill, but then all of a sudden I get knocked. Luckily, hey, Seb can't, Seb could have rezzed me, but, hey, but it wasn't the right time because we were dying the storm, and we were most likely going to get sprayed anyways, and that's exactly what happened. We were getting sprayed. And Seb immediately died, which I'm not going to lecture Seb or anything. I just want everyone to be treated with respect, so GG's. I just hope Seb and I can do better eventually. We just gotta work on that. To finish off the video, I actually have a replay where I played with Ro at DW. Yes, the yes, my pro the guy on Pro Guides that I think is the best coach ever. He legit it was in a coaching session with me during this game. Him and uh, him, we were talking because I think it's better if I have a coaching session. I think it's better if I talk to someone while I'm having a coaching session and I'm kind and I'm kind of nervous during a coaching session sometimes because Roa is a pro player. If hair. And sometimes when I play solos, I get nervous and want to talk to someone, and prefer to talk to someone during solos as well. But anyways, hey, so Robot DW is a pro player, if you're wondering. For proof, let me show you a video, let me show you some clips of him qualifying for the Fortnite World Cup two years ago. Let's roll the clips! Careful, careful, just chill out on that, stop. They rifted. All right, you might want to drop down. You don't want them to fight you. You don't want them to fight you. You might want to drop down. Okay. Focus this guy, he's solo. He's solo. He goes back, you can grab his mats. Grab his mats, grab his mats. 80, 80, you have 80. Break it, break it, break it. Shoot him, shoot him. One more. You have 300, 300, 300, 300. One's to your right. One's behind you. Build, just build. Play placement. Yo, yo, yo. Mini, mini, mini. Mini. Watch your top. 30 mats. 
Watch us out. What those final spots are gonna look like. Are you ready to take a look? Yeah, that last game really decided a lot. And here it is. It's Tetroid Eclipse and Rouette DW and Blue T in that last game. We saw them come through. Both of them, I think that was the last 2v2 there. They both were in there and they're both going through. Now that you guys have seen the clips, let's get right on into it, shall we? So in this game, me and Roa once again landed Coral. I'm so sorry if all my re- Again, I'm sorry if all my replays showed me going to Coral. Um, Coral is just a good spot for me and in duos, trios, and solos because of the zero gravity right now. But if they change zero gravity, I'm probably just going to land there more. <clears throat> I'm just going to probably land there more anyways because it's pretty good loot pretty good hood rotation etc uh and that's why it's me and seb's drop spot but anyways so i'm showing roat that and telling him this is actually me and seb's duo spot and that uh, because of the zero gravity and i didn't mention the colorful rings because i don't know much about those yet but uh, technically so me and roat are just lo looting up I offered him some shield after I popped two minis and found a big pot eventually. And he, so I threw him the big pot and the min, and the one. So I threw him the big pot and the one mini that I had because apparently I wanted to be nice because he was coaching me during this time. So I figured, why not do so? I mean, he is a nice guy. He's a very good coach, and yeah, he's he's my favorite pro guide coach out of all of them. Before we get into the replays, I want to explain what Pro Guides is. If you don't know what Pro Guides is, they're basically a coaching hang website. You can hire coaches to help you if you're trying to go pro in not in they don't just do Fortnite, they also do Valorant, CSGO, Rocket League, all those. So if you're wanting to go pro in any of those games, I'd recommend going to Pro Guides. All you gotta do is set up an account. You can create a pro membership with them to instantly lock unlimited courses, and you can buy pro guide points in order for to go get a coaching session with any of the pros in the following games you're wanting to go pro in. Now let's get back into the video. So at this point, I'm collecting mats, and technically I am trying to get max brick, and then Roat makes the call out eventually to go shark after we lose Coral. Uh, I, I know you might want to be thinking, but Nick, you're so good at the game. Why do you need a coach? Good question. Good question. Because sometimes I can make mistakes or I can forget how to do a certain thing in the game. So Roat's there in case I need any advice if I start to do terrible or forget something. You can technically text the pro as well, which is free, but you need an account to do that as well to do it on pro guides. But technically, yeah. That's, I hope that answers your question. But and so now, let's get back into the replay. Where was I? Oh yeah. So we decided to go shark because apparently Roat made the call out that he wanted to go shark to loot up there and get the barrels. I don't land shark off spawn anymore. Because Coral is zero gravity, but I decided to go Shark, Shark when Roat made the call out because I figured he turned it was a good idea. But overall, guys, we decide I decided to get this chest before going Shark. Luckily, he luckily Roat built right there preemptively, so that that way I wouldn't have to waste any mats. My opinion is kind of smart because you need mats to build stuff, especially during an end game. Name Roa had found a llama as soon as I noticed that, so I decided to help him shoot the llama. <clears throat> huh. Huh. I told him that I think him shooting it in the head does more damage as of because of, of, of me doing it before. Sorry, right, because as you can see, the, hey, the more people who do damage on it in the head, the more it's going to be easier to simply hey, hey kill the llama. So I hope we answers your question on that. But now on to the next part of the replay, which is going to be the kills. So in this one, you can see me and Roat are fighting a team. We technically, <coughs> hey, hey, Roat gets the kill on 
one of them, and then starts to take him down, and I instantly shoot him before his teammate can catch up. I cracked his teammate, and then Roak got the kill instantly. Hey, so, hey, which, in my opinion, was actually pretty helpful, because technically, the, you know, because there was a solo nearby, not high, but that's not the main reason. How I'm saying it's helpful is because technically, hey, Roak got the kill very easily because I cracked the teammate. So, credit for that kill goes to Roak, <clears throat> and even though I helped, because I want to be nice and be a good sport. Alright, I don't want to be known as a toxic player, because apparently that would ruin my reputation. Anyways, let's get on to the next part. So here is the next. So here is the next part of the replay where Roy has three kills and I have zero still. But I was helping out, out a lot. There was guys on Roat and he tried his very best to kill him. Luckily, he does so, especially because it was a John Wick. Which, by the way, if you have a John Wick or any OG skin, that means you're an OG. You just don't know it. But. <laughs> But technically, I was building up to the supply drop while Roet was fighting, and hang with the new stair building thing that I used to stir up the mountains, which I've been trying to invent some new creative ways to build up mountains with stairs. Hairs. <clears throat> I told Roet this, and he liked that idea. I think. But anyways, like we were talking to Discord, like he was saying, like, so I knock one of the guys, and then I get the other one, at the, at the exact same time, and <clears throat> Roat was actually very impressed by it. I carried the other chug cannon, and so we both had chug cannons, and he decided to launch pad, which I think was a good idea. And then he got sprayed by two other kids, who I tried to spray as well. Well, he said there were kids on him, so technically, and technically he got sprayed by all, hey, by both duos, so I decided to play by myself for as long as I could while, while Roat was dead in order to try and get his reboot. Luckily, I did weaken some of the players, even though one of them tried to catch me off guard. <clears throat> but here's what I did. I healed with a chug cannon, and then I decided to spray from above so that I wouldn't get caught immediately. I tried to deal some damage before getting the Ross reboot because I wanted to crack a kid and in order to lower them. <clears throat> I was waiting for the perfect time. I was waiting for the perfect me and Rowett were waiting for the perfect time to get his reboot because apparently we didn't want to get it too late. They were boxing in the other direction, so Rowett told me it was the perfect time to get his reboot. I was concerned, but unfortunately there were actually no concerns at all to be worried about because look we got I got his reboot successfully and then I went to the reboot van and but I built so that I wouldn't get shot at especially I was in the open and the reboot was literally in the storm so I decided so Roat told me I should reboot and then chuck cannon and pad immediately which I did you can see me rebooting him right here Then you can see me chug cannoning, or healing with the chug cannon, or whatever. And you can see me placing a pad, just as he said. <clears throat> and then I built because I was getting shot at, and was low HP, and didn't want to die very easily. So I decided to try and shoot that guy right there, which I cracked him once again. <clears throat> And then he killed a guy named Blue Crayon. They just killed Blue Crayon, and there was me and Roa and that other duo left. <clears throat> that other duo wanted to hunt us down, so, tatn so technically me and Roa ended up losing apparently, but we did get second place, and he does help, he did help a lot. Alright, but shout out to him by the way, he is, he is the best Pro guys, boy, coach I ever had, and I did, and and I will be stream, and I will be grinding full time on the weekends, and hens. But when I get done with my final year of school, I will be grinding for hours.
hers full time, and hopefully, hopefully, I'll eventually do better in tournaments. So yeah. But anyways, I forgot the thing that's called no hard peeking at the wrong time because apparently I get sniped and, and I realized that. So I made a terrible move right there. Roat did try to res me, but he, we were getting sprayed. So then, Roat tried to fight the guys because he's a good player. Why wouldn't he? He almost had them. But both of them decided to gang up on him because he was on his own. But with that can happen even to a pro sometimes. But technically, I am okay with this. So that was my entire VOD review video. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. And, and please check out Pro Guides if you want to go pro. I'll have a link in the description down below so you can find the right coach and course for you. <clears throat> If you want more on how it works, look up their channel, Hall for Fortnite, or any other game you're trying to go pro in. They'll help you. As well as the website, they'll have coaches that can help you too. But anyways, that was my entire VOD review video. Uh, shout out to Rowat. Uh, use code Nick in the Fortnite item shop. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.